about him. See that back and forth thing? Okay. Alright. Now we're recording. I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. With me is my good internet friend, Circle Master. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> He's just getting off a cold, so I hope I don't put him back in bed with this sh shitty game here. Um... Well, how can I go to bed with such an impressive Marlin looking at me? Actually, this scene might brighten you up a little bit. It's pretty fucking funny. This guy's awesome. And welcome to the Waikiki Inn. Would you care to register, sir? Ben Franklin. Oh. When are we gonna change our money to Hawaiian money? <laughs> we have a continental breakfast from 7 to 9 in the Tiki Lounge. A happy hour is from 5 to 8 in the Tiki Lounge. My ties are two for one pina coladas. <laughs> Anything less festive. Can I bring a bottle to your room, Mr. Franklin? Something brown. <laughs> one bottle of shit coming up. <laughs> uh. Oh, great. Another shower scene. Mm-hmm, getting sexy with 47. And then Diane's gonna come shoot him in the back. <laughs> they okay. drove all the way from Panama. <laughs> no, they flew <laughs> on her little habit. No, they, they, they had their, uh, they had their, oh, I get it, flying nun joke. Yeah, it's a Go flying nun joke. The, the fact that the one nun has the flying nun habit uh -huh. really destroys any eroticism that it might have had. Like, if they are all just latex And, and nuns, she's black. And she's I black. Okay, racist. You're not attracted to black people, I guess. I what? didn't no. know that about you. <laughs> we can't be good internet friends anymore. Right. So, here I was trying to make a Whoopi Goldberg joke. I thought that, uh... I thought that Whoopi was in The Flying Nun uh, for some reason, um, but actually she was just in something called Sister Act. So, yeah, that's what I meant. Whoopi is not The Flying Nun, after all. You learn something new every day. So, uh, back to the game in progress. <laughs> You've outed me. That there I've outed you as a racist, I, yeah. From this angle, 47 looks like he has tits. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you, you, anyway, you, can yeah, change back, whoop, you can change back into a suit here, but I decided not to, because why would I? Well, apparently so you want to see his tits. Oh, yeah. Those big, luscious man boobs. And some war crimes going on here. So wait, they just blew up the whole apartment block with one uh -huh. rocket, and now they're just kind yep. of milling about. Yep. They're not actually going to investigate the wreckage or anything. Oh, they're coming. And we're going to be ready for them. Now hump in here. You really need the fedora to do that. <laughs> and a whip. So yeah, that's a good point. It must have been one hell of a, a rocket there. I mean, it just, look how much building it destroyed. <laughs> I know. And these aren't even nuns. Man. Nope. Oh, they're guys. The ag yeah, they're agency guys. Strike team, retrieve There's our nun. Clean up crew. Take care of any survivors. Move out. So was there any point to them being dressed as nuns? Well... Were they ever in disguise as nuns? <laughs> I I guess that's just their thing. 47's bald and these guys were latex. Bring me 47's well, remains. The there's a lot to be said for latex, identify? and there's a lot to be Look said for fun. nuns. Uh, you, you like but... both, don't you? Mixed well, they have their appeal, and like uh -huh. girls with guns has uh -huh. its appeal. But when you try to get all three of them together, right. it's really hard to do. 
And then when you throw on the flying nun on top of that, uh -huh. you've just lost completely. You got spotted. I almost fucked up here. All right, you got. You did fuck up. You got spotted. N no, no, I didn't. Cause the the people out in in the uh, the parking lot, they're they're going like, "What the fuck was that?" And then, eh, nah, it probably wasn't nothing. <laughs> what are you wearing on your face now? Uh, some goggles, I guess. I'm not sure. From the I'm back, sure it just looks like you're wearing like a headband, really low. <laughs> kind of like you're trying to cosplay as Jordy LaForge. <laughs> Uh, Which maybe, I get, I guess to... that would fit in with the whole nun cosplay and everything. Sure, or maybe they just plan to go swimming in the pool afterwards. You know, after they committed mass murder. Okay, listen up. We follow the you, you probably so, uh, shouldn't wear latex in a pool. If it gets in there, then you know there's no, no way of getting it out. Oh yeah, you're totally. You, fucked, you'll get then. the chlorine rash, and uh, nothing Ugh. good can come of that. <laughs> So there's a rat poison. I'm gonna try unsuccessfully to use it on the next nun that's going over there. Um, and oh, another execution in progress here. Don't do this. Don't hurt me. Come in. Yay. And you know what? If if you're too slow, this guy can actually spot you and. Like, take away points. Who, the guy you save? Yeah, the guy you save. How ungrateful is that, huh? Well, then why would you even save him? Fuck, well, you shouldn't if you're trying to play like a pro, which I'm not. Now, what I'm going to do here is going to blow the shit out of everyone. And it's not just fun, it's also a strategy. I'm trying to get these guys away from the nuns so I can kill her in peace. It's not going to work out too good for me, though. Now, I, I almost hate to ask, but what would you apply the rat poison to in order to kill the nun? Oh, Because I'm uh, picturing erotically baked communion wafer. Uh-huh. No, these ladies drink coffee just like everyone else in the whole fucking game. So, oh. yeah, th there, go there goes that out the window. That, so, at this that's point... That's really boring. <laughs> I know, tell me about it. It, it wouldn't be absolution uh, without it, you know? And I don't know who that guy is supposed to be talking to. I mean, supposedly he thinks we're on the same team, so why he would be saying that to me, I don't know. And they fucking spot me. Yep. Now... So you shoot the guy uh, who's running away first, of course. Yes. Not any of the guys that are shooting at you. <laughs> like a true professional. <laughs> Woo! Just like a true professional. <clears throat> And speaking of professionals, these guys are actually like more deadly than normal enemies in the game because they're agency spooks or something. So their aim is actually really good and they can kill you pretty fast. So getting in a shootout in this, this particular area is really hard to get out of the live. As um, has so been aptly demonstrated. I planted a bomb in the corner over there hoping to, you know, get these guys away from the nun again. Uh, these guys are gonna walk over there. I mean, seriously, fuck this particular area. It's it's a huge pain in the ass. And uh, this time, yeah, it was it was like a Saturday, and it was boiling hot, and I was really tired of trying to put poison in that lady's coffee. So I just said, fuck it. Okay. And you got spotted again. Yep. And, uh, here I am, showing off my terrible aim. There. And at this point, I'm thinking I'm home free, right? Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. God damn it. <laughs> Maybe they were promised some sexual favors from the nun hit squad latex party. And because so you killed them, they have extra, I don't know, motivation to kill you. If you if you watch those ladies as they stand around, they actually, like, do posing. I know you haven't played this level yet, but if you just watch them stand around, they kind of do, like, the sexy posing with their guns. It's, it's pretty gratuitous. 
And, wow. Uh, there she goes. Way to rip off Metal Gear Solid 4. Huh? Way to rip off Metal Gear Solid 4. Hello? Nick. Aw, oh, shit. I think, uh... I, I think can... Circle Ma oh, okay. I can still Ooh. hear you. Okay, you can hear me. I can hear you again. That's great. All right. We're probably yeah, going to have to do a retake. <laughs> no, no. Fuck that. I... Breaking Bad is on, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> so this time, I successfully picked the fucking lock. But not after using my fucking uh, instinct there to touch my ear. <laughs> Ambulance? Ambulance, really? Okay. The ear is the most distinctive part of 47's body. You're gonna get a kick out of this. Just watch. Raise them again. Yes, ma'am. Calling Saint. Excuse me. Can I uh, break your neck here? Thanks. What? There you go. He was about to call in the Third Street Saints. That would be a crossover, I'd see. <laughs> and he's just like, whatever. She fucking disappeared. Who cares? And uh, did did Juana? Did did. J I, I don't know. I don't know, Circle Master. I, I just don't fucking know. Uh, I think these two here are sisters because they have similar names. And uh, Well, the, the bigger hint would be if they have the same last name. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the hint. I think. I don't, I don't really remember. All I remember is some weird alien language. Sir. Operation so, uh, there's our, our favorite, uh, our favorite motel director guy, and, uh, I gotta say, this, this scene coming up here is pretty heavy, Circle Master, uh, is, is he gonna, is he gonna be crying about how his customer ordered a bottle of shit and he still hasn't been able to deliver it? <laughs> I'm, I'm not too proud of this moment, uh, it's not, it's not really my finest hour, uh, you know, I had a good long cry about it afterwards. <sighs> and I, I just wasn't fast enough. I just wasn't fast enough, Circle Master. I, I, don't, I don't know what, I don't know what went went wrong. But, uh... I think it was your latent homophobia expressing <laughs> itself yet again. You heard that high pitched voice, and it made you freeze up for a second. I know. I was just thinking, really, really, guy, maybe you deserve to die. And here, I just get pissed off. You know, I. I just want to burn everything down. Don't have a Target is and, uh... Yeah. Alright. Uh, uh, what? Uh, me? <laughs> I, I, th I think, I think that, that name's a, a from Venus or something? Or maybe Mercury? I don't know. I think it's from a cat walking across a keyboard. <laughs> no, and that fucking guy, fuck you too. He didn't even do anything. Oh, he was gonna do something. If I gave him the chance. Oh, anyway, I see. I, I can't, now you're gonna I do something with the body. You're gonna pose the body no, ritualistically. No, no, I can't leave this guy laying face down towards hell. This man deserved to go to some to heaven. And we can't let him lay in the dark either. Otherwise, we can't look at his funny face. Yeah, I don't think that's your motivation at all. I think your motivation is to have look at, God look, look down light. upon him and judge him <laughs> because light, of your your issues regarding your sexuality he's, and your circle orientation. Circle Master, sir, he's, he's going to be sipping Mai Tais in heaven, all right? He's going to be sipping Mai Tais in heaven. It's going to be great. I'm going to see him one day. And backup arrived, so... Yeah... You know, I was I was looking at a review of this game a little while ago, and the guy mentioned how strange it is that ducking down behind cover makes you less suspicious. Uh, I don't know. I disagree. I, I like to walk around crouched all the time in public places. No one no one looks at me at all. They actually look away. So. Yeah, I. It's pretty true. I mean, if you're working on a project and you know the boss is coming near your cubicle. And uh -huh. you you want to look busy, right? So I immediately right. duck down under my desk, <laughs> and you know, hug myself against the cubicle yes, wall and hold my breath. <laughs> and then when the boss looks in, he goes, "Oh, he must be doing a fire drill," <laughs> and he leaves me alone. And, awesome. And I never hear from him. It'll be like another week before he gives me an assignment. 
So, you know, he knows I'm on top of things. Great. As long as you're on the clock, that's the most important part. So, this cornfield here is pretty fun. You can move around pretty quickly by crouching around. You don't have to worry about being detected too much. So it's like every other field in the game. Uh-huh. And over here is, is a fun outfit, I guess. It's, uh, it's a scarecrow outfit. There we go. Let's take, put that on there. There we go. More cross imagery, I see. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna heal up from that explosion, that fucking nuclear bomb that blew up the whole fucking motel. Yeah, I don't know why you opted to hide in the fridge after the explosion. It, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. You, you, I wonder if you were watching Indiana Jones backwards or something. Was there some kind of problem with your DVD all player? All 47 had to do was be like two inches in front of the explosion. That's it. As long as you don't actually get touched by the fire, you're A-OK. -okay. Yeah, and, That's you know, fire only travels in one direction in an explosion. So if you turn a corner, uh -huh. you're fine. Right. That's proven facts, ladies and gentlemen. It's proven facts here. We, we know what we're talking about. Yeah, the documentary Independence Day is a great reference. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for these guys to get into the right position so I can walk over here and electrocute this lady here. There we go. Connect that. And pull this lever over here. There. And your water drinking days are over, lady. You know, I, I think I mentioned this before about mixing too many fetishes. Oh, <laughs> more Catholicism imagery, huh? <laughs> You're just taking your religion and foisting it upon the rest of us, aren't you, Nick Meister? Yep. That, that, that is You and that your homophobic religion. views. <laughs> Murder and electrocution and latex. That's, that's the way I do things. Well, electrical play can be stimulating, but it... You know, you don't really want to mix that with latex. Uh huh. Oh, right. That would defeat the fucking purpose, wouldn't it? And over here, I'm gonna fuck up pretty royally. So get ready for that. I'm waiting for the right time to cross the road. And no, you fucked up. Now I'm making a run for it. I'm trying to do some kung fu. It's not working out. And, uh... Time to resort to the power of prayer. Shit. Just like that documentary... I gotta find a closet first. Oh, fuck. I was trying to find a closet, so, you know, I, I wouldn't show off in front of everyone. Like that verse says, but... Which one? Uh... Oh, fuck it, let's just kill these people right here and right now. <laughs> and... There you go. That's a lazy man's way of taking out that first uh, nun lady there. Of course, the game punishes us for doing it the fun way, but whatever. And of course, and... her name is Cain because we need mm -hmm. even more Catholic imagery. Candy Cain. Oh, well, I was Saint thinking, Saint Nick. I was thinking Cain and Abel. All oh, right. As in, her name is Cain, and you're able to kill her. You know you're out there. <laughs> Oh, nice! <laughs> high five! <laughs> Internet high five! All of them. I think for this lady, I just go in and oh wait, never mind. Because actually, this this was like the fifth time I played through this section because I kept dying. And like like I like I said, it was like eighty five degrees uh, plus humidity, so I was. Uh, were, were you playing outdoors? Uh, no, indoors, where it's nice and hot. And I think I was wearing a sweatband, too, so the sweat would keep out of my eyes as it was playing. Uh, are you aware of the invention of such devices as air conditioners, fans? Oh, uh... Things of that, that yeah, nature? Like, Climate that cost, control in general? <laughs> that costs money. And, uh, I need money for games. There. And, uh, we don't have to hide her because we're not you know, doing a super duper pro, super high score run. We're just playing through the game, so we're just gonna leave her there. I wonder if I should make a racist joke about the black woman being named Moorhead. Uh, I wouldn't get it. 
the, the Moors. Oh. Arabians. Oh, got, got some. Uh, that's that's really old school. Let's get some some Shakespeare. Well, it, Shakespearean, Shakespearean. Either comedy. either Shakespearean or that episode of Seinfeld with Bubble Boy. Oh, I, I never, I never watched that show. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck, fuck you, guy. Okay, so here's the thing about this stage. Uh, they're trying to kill you, so they're not gonna bother holding you up. There. And that actually makes getting away with being spotted even harder. Uh. Not fun at all. So, I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to drop something on top of this lady's head here. By driving a tractor into a pulley that's hoisted a piano? Well, she's gonna walk over there and turn off the tractor for some reason. And... yeah. Oh, that, that's a lot more boring. Yeah. I wanted now, a Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> So anyway, the hardest part of the whole fucking level is picking up this goddamn cell phone before these assholes see you. And I'm trying desperately to do that. There we go. Finally. <sighs> Mission 47. <laughs> Travis. I trusted you. You were given a mission, and you betrayed the agency. And my dumb, stupid, fake hand. <laughs> Fuck you, Travis. <sighs> so that was Attack of the Saints. That was uh... pretty horrible. Uh huh. So are you feeling you feeling any uh, any symptoms coming on? Any any colds? Any fevers? Any chills? Well, uh, I'm re-experiencing a lot of nausea. Uh, -huh. flashbacks maybe to things that never actually happened. N no, I. I don't suffer from implanted memories, or... Well, that's good. Or Catholic brainwashing, like you apparently do. Uh-huh. You better, you better convert. I'm gonna come find you, or something. Well, now that we've talked for about three minutes past the end of the video, <laughs> I think we're good. So let's yeah. sign off here. I have been Circle Master. And I'm Nick Meister, and uh, this is Let's Play Hitman Absolution. Which you need after hearing all this blasphemous commentary. Uh-huh. See you later. <laughs> that was kind of a shit show. Oh. Oh. Oh.